guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my October reading wrap up. And these are the books that I read in October. I also read some novella-ish type books. Uh, and I don't have physical copies of that just because those were only on audio. So I will be inserting pictures. Usually when I do those, I start at the beginning, but I need to in order for this video to make sense to me, <laughs> I need to not talk about them first things first. So uh, first, I'm going to talk about my A to Z reading challenge. I have the letters Y and Z left, and I was able to complete them this month uh, because I because they're a little bit more difficult letters to find um, the letter Y or Z with the first word in the book title. Um, I decided to use titles that had those um, letters within the title to make it count. So that might be cheating a little bit, but I saw no other option than to do that if I wanted to complete it. But anyway, I'm going to start with the letter Y. And for that, I went with Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. In this book, we are following two women uh, who are sisters, but they're estranged due to the murder of their third sister that happened about 20 years ago. Um, and as the plot unfolds in this book, um, some things start happening that bring the sisters together to try to find out what happened to their sister 20 years ago and, and how they how they died. Um, there's a murder here that happens in a disappearance of a teenage girl which sets the whole thing off and I really enjoyed this book. I gave it four out of five stars. It read super fast um, and then I was listening to this on audiobook and to my surprise there was a novella at the end of the audiobook. It's not here in the book uh, unfortunately, I was hoping that it would be here so I could have a copy of it, but it's called um, Blonde blonde Hair, Blue Eyes or Blonde Hair, Pretty Eyes, something like that. And that gives us the perspective of what happened to their sister uh, before the events of this book. Um, like I said, their sister was murdered and so in the novella, we learned to see how she was murdered. Um, I loved this. I thought I was gonna have a great reading month because I had picked up an awesome book and I love it. I, I really enjoyed it. I had read The Woman the Woman Kept by Karen Slaughter and I wasn't a big fan. I mean, I liked it, but I wasn't like in love with it as I was with this one. So I am excited to keep reading more from Karen Slaughter. Then for the letter Z, I completed uh, Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. I don't think I should go into too much detail. I think I'm the last person who has read Crazy Rich Asians. And I loved this book. I gave it four out of five stars. It read super, super fast. This book is about this girl, Rachel, who starts dating uh, her boyfriend. For, and they've been dating for a few years. So he takes her to, um, to Singapore so she can meet his family. And she has no idea that they're very, very rich. So she has to adjust to the expectations of the fam of his family. She's very overwhelmed with all the money. And, and a lot of people don't like this book because they find the characters to be very shallow, very just unlikable people. But I think that's the whole point is to make these people very unlikable. Uh, these are the kind of people that have a lot of money and they like to flaunt it and they're not apologetic for it. And I think the author meant to write them like that to get his point across because they're supposed to be shocking Rachel. Um, they're not gonna be the modest people um, who are modest about having money. They're like people who have had money for years and years and years, like fortunes passed on from generation to generation. So these people are very rich and wealthy and they do things that we normal people <laughs> can only dream of doing uh, and for them it's like nothing i really enjoyed it i do have the second one crazy rich girlfriend and i'm hoping to get to that uh this month in november but i really really enjoyed it and i do recommend it now for the rest of the books that i read this month i read uh, necessary lies by diane Sh uh, chamberlain in this book we follow uh two women again it's a story about two women one of them is uh who is her name her name is jane and she is a recent college graduate she just recently married she's kind of like high up in society but she's not like a like a snobby girl she actually wants to work and she actually has to convince her husband to let her work uh, because she's gonna be working in the kind of like the poor ghetto area um, that's where her job is gonna require her to go to and she's a social worker and she's and one of her clients is this other girl um, Ivy who comes from a very um, dysfunctional not dysfunctional 
I don't know what the word is, but um, her family, she lives with her grandmother. Her mother left her. Her sister, I think, has special needs and she has a baby. Um, it's just a very, like a lot of things going on with that family. And then we have Ivy, who is a teenage girl. Uh, but as Jane starts working closer and closer with Ivy and her family, of course, she gets attached. And it's something that her boss was telling her, you cannot get attached to any of your clients because then that's gonna blur the vision of what you're there to do. It comes to a point where the family has to make a decision and to do something. And it turns out that this something that the program that Jane is working for wants to do is, is legal, but it's it illegal in other times. And the reason why it's illegal in other states and not in the state that they're what state are they in? Um, in North Carolina. I, it's legal in North Carolina, but it's illegal in other states because it's it arises a question of is it ethical to do it? And I'm not gonna tell you what it is because when I found out what it was, I was kind of was taken aback. <laughs> um, so yeah, we follow uh, the both characters through getting to know each other, finding out what it is this thing that they want to do, and the consequences that happen after they find out what's gonna happen. So I really, really enjoyed it. I read this one super, super fast. I just wanted to know what was gonna happen. And like I said, I discovered a new author, Diane Chamber Chamberlain. Uh, so I can't wait to read any more of, the, of her books. Uh, really, really intriguing. Not scary or anything disturbing like that, but uh, very, very intriguing is the word. Then I was really excited to read the next book here. Uh, Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco. This book, I was super excited to read it because it's the fourth book in the, what is it called? Stalking Jack the Ripper. We have Stalking Jack the Ripper and then we have um, Capturing Prince Dracula and then uh, Escaping from Houdini. And then this is the last one, Capturing the Devil. And unfortunately, this was my last, my least favorite. I can't tell you a lot about the plot because first is the fourth book in a series. And second, this book ties back to the first book, which is what I didn't like because I felt like the author, when I read the other three books, I didn't get the vibe that the, that the last book was going to, excuse me, was going to tie into the events that happened in the first book. I thought we were going somewhere else with this. And so I don't know if, if she got a little bit lazy and said, oh, let me kind of like plot twist, let me tie things to the first book, or if that was her plan all along. I got the feeling like, if to me it felt a little lazy. Um, and when I discovered that this tied to the first book, I wasn't like, oh my gosh, I never saw that coming. I was just like, really? Like, it was very unsatisfying to me. So for that reason, this is my least favorite. I still read it. Um, I still recommend reading at least Stalking Jack the Ripper and, and the other three. Uh, it's just to me, this wasn't a very satisfying ending to a series. Next, I read the entire trilogy of A Darker Shade of Magic by B.E. Schraub. We have A Darker Shade of Magic, A Gathering of Shadows, and A Conjuring of Light. Now, I listened to all of these on audiobook and unpopular opinion here, so please don't hate me. I did not like this series. This series actually put me in a reading slump. In this series, I'm just gonna hold one book because the three of them are heavy. Um, in this book, we follow uh, this guy, Kel, who is uh, an Antari, and that means that he can travel between worlds. And in this book, we follow, um, there's like four different um, dimensions, I guess you can say. Uh, you have Red London, Black London, White London, and Grey London. And he can travel between those four Londons and only Antari can do that. Uh, and he thinks he's like the one of the last people who can, who can do that. But it turns out that he is not one of those people. Uh, he works for a king, uh, sending messages between each London uh, for that king. And he does, uh, he smuggles stuff from one London to another, which is illegal. Um, and then, so he discovers that he is not, he might not be the, the only one who can do that. Um, and then the plot takes off from there. Um, like I said, this is a trilogy, um, but I don't know if it's, maybe it's Victoria Schwab who I have a problem with. Um, when I read Vicious, 
I had a hard time getting into that book. Um, the sequel to Vicious, which is uh, Vengeful, I also did not like that book. And for this series, it, it was a struggle because I tried like actually reading this maybe three times and I just could not get into it. I'd be like 30 pages in and I'd be like, I have no idea what I just read. So I'd have to start it all over again. And then, so I switched on to the audiobook I am because it was available on my on my overdrive and um, I started the audiobook twice because again it was like I was maybe an, an hour an hour and 20 minutes in and I had no idea what was going on so it was very very difficult for me to get into the into the plot into the book uh, but at the end after I finished reading the the trilogy I did not care for any of the people here I was not attached to any one of them. I didn't care for the romance. Maybe it's Victoria Schraub that I have a problem with in her writing style. I gave this um, three, three stars as a series um, because I finished it, but not because I really enjoyed it. Then in order to get out of my reading slump, I read Long Lost, which is, which is a short story of my favorite uh, or my most recent favorite series which is the Kate Burkholder series, which is based on the, around the Amish community, crimes around the Amish community. And it was a nice short story. It's kind of hard to give it a high rating because in this book we follow um, the disappearance of a person, like um, Kate and her boyfriend decide to go on vacation. This is between the events of books four and five. Um, they decide to take a little vacation, to take a little break, and people recognize her because she's been able to solve all these murders before. And so they're like, hey, well, you know, this happened a while back and nobody was able to kind of figure it out. Can you look into it? And even though she's on vacation, she decides to take a look at it and she discovers it, but she leaves things as is. And I can't tell you why she does that because it would ruin the whole story. <laughs> um, it it goes super, super fast, but it was good enough to get me out of the reading slump because a book that I kept trying to pick up after the V.E. Schwab ones, I couldn't get past it. So I needed like, it was a nice palette cleanser for my for my head, I guess. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was that. I think I gave it three stars. Uh, like I said, nothing great, but it worked for my reading slumpiness. And the last thing that I read was The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn. This is a thriller and it's one of those mass market paperbacks. And I love these because like you read them, they're like long. And so you read really fast because you, because of the format, like you, you have to turn the page right away. So I read these really fast. But anyway, I really enjoyed this book. I gave it three out of five stars, I believe. And the reason why I didn't give it four is because as I was reading this, I couldn't get um, that other one. What is it called? The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins, I think is her name. Um, because they both, in, in both books, we follow a, uh, a woman whose marriage has fallen apart and she has resorted to alcohol and drugs <laughs> to um, deal with her depression I guess um, and so she's a very unreliable uh, narrator so the whole story we follow um, this lady what is her name Anna who believes she saw a murder and she believes she knows who it was but due to her dependency on alcohol and drugs uh, we go through this whole maze of, is she making it up? Is she, like, what is she telling us that is true? And what is she telling us that is just in her head and it's not true? And like I said, every time, like, certain things would trigger my brain to think about the girl on the train. I know this book is being turned into a movie by Amy Adams. I don't know if it came out already or if it's going to come out, but I wanted to read it before the movie came out. And I still enjoyed it. I read it super fast. And it was nice to read after reading that um, A Darker Shade of Magic series. There you go, guys. Those are the books that I finished in the month of October. And really quickly, before we wrap up this video, I just wanted to give you guys a quick thanks. I'm assuming it's on, on people that watch these videos. Uh, two people used my referral link from Book Outlet and I was able to get some uh, credits. And I was able to buy more books with those credits. So thank you guys for feeding my addiction. <laughs> I, I am very happy. Um, 
no one's ever used any of the referrals that I have there. So I didn't even know how to like go about it and redeem my points, but um, it was really excited. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for, for uh, using those referrals. And if you guys have never purchased anything from Book Outlet and you would like um, to do so, you can use, I think you guys get a discount if you use my, re my referral. Uh, and then I get points that I can redeem for, they have a reward system after X amount of points. Uh, you get 5, 10, 15, 20, depending on how many points you have. So when you guys buy books using that link, I get points added to my account so I can later redeem for for cash. Not, not redeem for cash, but use it as credit towards my next purchase. But anyway, guys, like I said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.